y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to start off i know by me getting a new bed <laughs> um and then i have a few items to show y'all that i got from target yesterday and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so target yesterday had a huge freaking sale didn't even know they had a sale prince got groomed yesterday i probably put in like a little picture or something but his grooming usually takes about two hours, so I decided, I'm like, okay, I can waste time. I went to McDonald's to get some breakfast, and then I was like, all right, let me go, you know, just walk around in Target, just, you know, just to waste time because I really don't feel like driving 30 minutes back to the house. He gets groomed 30 minutes away from home. <laughs> so, yeah, went to Target, baby. They had 20% off, 40% off, 50% off on all kind of stuff up in there. And this is the one, if you're local in Little Rock, this is the one that was on McCain, and baby, that one I don't really mess with because that Target is kind of turning into Walmart. <laughs> no lie, but they had some really good stuff. So I'm going to stop talking and kind of just get into the few things that I got. Um, I am trying to transform my bathroom into just black, white, and like a cute light blush pink. So I found these towels at Target. It's the Room Essentials brand from Target. It's an eight pack. I got black and I got white. Um, I do want my towels to be black and white only. I may keep my gray ones just because my bathroom does kind of, excuse me, have a little bit of gray. But as of right now, just black and white. The white ones I'm just going to use whenever. The black ones I can use whenever, but I got black just because when I'm on my period, I don't really want to use a white towel while bathing, you know, just in case. So I am buying black towels for washcloths and actual like big towels. So I got that. They were only $5. Target is this cute throw blanket. Um, this is in the brand threshold quality and design this was regular twenty dollars but i got i think 20 or 30 percent off of this one so it's really good it's literally just a cute crochet honestly i could have made this myself um fun fact i learned how to crochet in high school <laughs> well i used to do scarves a lot so i literally have a scarf that's about this color but yeah anyways could have did it myself but did i want to no so yeah this is super cute um got it on sale i was looking at the um I think the brand at Target is called like Magnolia, if I'm not mistaken, because I wanted her cookbook and stuff. Um, she has some really, really cute throw blankets. So if this one doesn't really tie in too well, I may return it and then go back and get the um, Magnolia brand. If I feel like doing the editing, I will put a picture right here so you guys can kind of see which one you may like better. But yeah, I got that. And then I also got some potting mix. Um, don't know anything about this potting mix. They had like three to choose from. Um, I did buy a plant from Walmart and I also have a plant that I bought from Ikea maybe like a year and a half ago and it's still alive. So don't jump down my throat on this girlies, but <laughs> didn't know you're supposed to repot plants. <laughs> so I see people do it, yes, but I didn't know like you had to. Like I never repotted this little plant and it's still alive, but anyways. I'm gonna repot my Ikea plant and then my um, plant from Walmart that I did just buy. Um, the plant that I got at Walmart, I'm gonna put in this. I also got this one from Target. The planters were like 30 or 40% off also. So I think this was regular, maybe like $3. I don't know, I got it for like $1.80. So that's a really good steal and deal. And then the last thing that I got from Target is a comforter. And y'all, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all how much this comforter costs, baby. First off, it's a king. You know, king comforters are always higher than fools, you know, whatever, twins. So this is the Threshold brand. It's one comforter and two king shams. So it's literally just the comforter and the pillowcases. This is regular, it said 100, it was $109, but I saw some of the other ones and it was a little bit higher than that, but anyways, the clearance tag says it was $54.50. I get to the checkout, the lady scans this. Baby, why did it ring up for $32? Like, <laughs> it's, it was just meant to be. It was meant for me to go inside that Target yesterday and just look around and come out with this stuff. I literally was like, I don't wanna spend over $100 because once I found this, I was like, okay, maybe I can, you know, do a little shopping. Girl, my total literally for all this stuff, I think I got something else too. It was like $70, $70. So that's a really good deal. Um, hopefully this looks really good on my new bed. 
um we're gonna test it out when they get here they said they're gonna try to be here like 4 30 um it's 2 57 so i do gotta go clear out my entire like bedroom just enough to where they can get in and build it because i did want them to build my stuff and i got a few more groceries yesterday not going to show it because it's the same groceries that i get every time um right here is my plant i'm not a <laughs> I don't have a green thumb, but I do like plants. So this was the cheapest one that I could find. It was $4.97. Just in case they die, you know, I'm trying to ease my way back into this. So this is the one I got. This is the name. If you know about this plant, you can comment down below how to take care of it. It do come with this though. So I'm gonna read up on this and look it up online. But this is the only plant that I could find in Walmart that wasn't really like dead. Cause it has a few flowers on there and then it has some that's trying to blossom out. So I'm gonna repot this in my new pot that I got from Target, okay? Um, and I think that's all the new stuff that I got. My apartment looks a little wreck right now because I did just do a Shein clothing haul. Um, if they approve, I'm trying to have that out by this Sunday. So you're probably gonna see the clothing haul before you see this vlog. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear out my bedroom first because I can just throw them clothes like in my bathroom or something. They ain't gotta know about it. Um, so yeah, this is how my bedroom's looking right now. Um, I'm about to post this rug on Facebook Marketplace. I'm about to post the headboard on Facebook Marketplace and the rails. The headboard and the rails are not connected, but I'm just gonna sell them together. If someone wants the headboard, then you can just take the headboard. And then this little gray thingy, um, my bed frame is gonna be black. So like I said, I'm not doing any gray anymore. So that's why I've been spray painting stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to switch out all the gray. So. I'm about to take pictures of everything that I'm selling and then I'm going to start taking stuff from out under my bed, putting it in my closet for the time being. So all of this can be fresh for them to build. And then I think I'm just going to prop my mattresses up against that wall and that window. So when they come, they can just have all this space over here from like door to over there to be able to build. doing deliveries at 8 o'clock if it's going to take this long so it's literally 3 30 so i have until 6 so i'm gonna um i'm gonna take the rest of this apart i guess i'm gonna post this stuff on facebook roll up this rug i'm gonna sweep the floor and mop it so it can be squeaky clean for when they come i'm gonna keep those over there on that side and then just move everything else out the way so they can have all this room to build. Um, I guess now I have time to actually clean up my mess the right way. And then I was just stuffing all of this stuff in my closet, which y'all know my closet is huge, but 
since they're not coming till six, I'm gonna hang up these clothes over here to get that out the way. And then my old comforter, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out in the trash. Um, I don't believe I would need a bed skirt because the bed I'm getting, it has like cubbies all around. So the bed is gonna be sitting on the inside. So I don't even need a bed skirt. Um, I'm still gonna keep it though. I'm not gonna throw it away just in case I can like give it away to somebody. But yeah, I'm basically just about to clear this whole room out and kind of deep clean it. Um, my deep clean video should have been out by now or clean my whole entire apartment. And this is the only room that I really couldn't deep, deep clean, but I'm gonna do that now, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to do today. Um, I did wanna go view 10 Fitness, like take a tour because they have um, all girls gym. So I may do that, I don't know. I was just expecting them to be here in an hour. So yeah, whatever. I'm slightly annoyed, but as long as my stuff get delivered today, I don't care what time, but I really would like it to be here now. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you guys this yet or not. I don't feel like getting my ring light to just turn over here, but yeah, I know I don't have any carpet in this apartment. The only carpet I have is my rugs and I can only vacuum one. So let me actually, I don't want to light. With that being said, I keep my vacuum cleaner back behind here. Everything is cleared out, so now I'm about to hang up all of my clothes that need to be hung up. I'm about to post the headboard, rug, and that little ottoman thingy on Facebook Marketplace. They said they're not responsible for the packaging, so I have to take this down to the garbage. <laughs> wow. It's a white guy. I'm asking you, I said, is it the episode where it's a white guy? The time you need your man where is he look at my armpits like i feel so disgusting right now after i put this mattress in, after i put this bed together i'm literally getting in the shower for an hour <laughs> definitely like a 30 minute long shower but here's the bed it's so freaking huge let me get my ring light hold on. freaking huge um this may be a problem <laughs> um didn't really think of this through um i was thinking maybe i could have put my dresser like 
over there i'm gonna have to measure it out because i don't want it hitting the window if i can just place my dresser over there um and then i'm gonna eventually have my tv mounted um not this tv i'm getting like a 55 65 inch tv and have that mounted i think that'll free up all of this little walk space right here because it's just not doing it for me um i need to scoot this over back to where it was but i gotta put my um bed frame and stuff back on well not bed frame box spring and mattress i don't actually need a box spring because all it needs is a mattress but i don't like to sit low so i'm gonna put my box spring and my mattress on top of here and then go from there this is how low I would be laying like no now and I'm gonna put on some socks because my feet have gotten dirty and I may have to step on that so I don't really know if I should put my bed skirt on or not um because I'm pretty sure the comforter would be long enough I'm just gonna put it on anyway just in case I've already did a haul this is what I'm gonna put on my bed um, like I said it only come with a comforter and two pillowcases so I do have white sheets that I'm just gonna throw back on there I showed these in a different vlog um, they're from big lots it's the Broy Hill brand get off my white sheets no <laughs> y'all better get your nephew pink because it matches my quilt I usually put my quilt on top of the comforter I did see a few people when I was watching like how to make beds and stuff like that they put their quilt down first and then they put their comforter down and kind of like pulled the quilt over or whatever but I want the white to sh I don't know because I think I want the white to show. So what I'm thinking is to keep my pillows like they were. Boom. But then with the quilt. I would just have to fold this every day. So I think I want to put this at the foot of my bed. And then still have that throw blanket. And I only use the quilt if it's like really, really cold, which I mean, I usually have my air <laughs> on like 69, 70 and it gets pretty cold in here. So I don't know. So 
so I'm going to return this blanket. It's too cream for my liking. Um, I'm going to try to find this exact same one in black. If I can, I'm just going to return it and look for a black throw blanket in like TJ Maxx Home Goods or something. So I'm returning that. Um, my colors right now is still just black white. Um, obviously, I don't want to get rid of my quilt because I absolutely love that quilt. So it's still going to have to be that little blush pink thrown in there. These. I'm actually about to throw in the washer and the dryer so they can get all clean because Lord knows how many people have been touching on these. <laughs> I always wash your stuff before you use it. So I'm gonna throw that in there. But I wanted to go ahead, I took my wig off. My hair is like pinned up in the back, but yeah, I took my wig off. Um, oh, it was just too hot earlier trying to do all that crap. So I'm about to put the new soil in this. This is the plant that I got from Ikea like almost two years ago now. And she's been she's been living, okay? Um, this is how it looks. I watered it maybe like a day or two ago, oops. So obviously that's still kind of moist, but this soil is like <laughs> done for. So, and I just made a mess. Okay, so I'm watching this girl who got like, um, 464k subscribers and didn't know that repotting it may basically means to like give it more space so i'm thinking like maybe i shouldn't repot it here's the thing this is what it came in <laughs> but i bought this to actually put it in here so i don't know if i should get something bigger than this like since it's growing should i put this little bit thing in here like i don't know Y'all let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna repot it in this little one first and then when I read y'all comments, I may go back to Target because this was on sale for like $1.80 or like $2. Regular price wasn't more than like $5. So if so, I'm just gonna go back and get another one of these types and pot it into something like this. So yeah, I'll probably go back tomorrow. If so, then I'll let you guys know. But for right now, I'm gonna repot this plant into the bigger one, and then I'm just gonna do the smaller one for right now. and I decided to pick back up on this video. Um, I just got out of the shower, just got done flattening my hair. Um, I don't know why it keeps poofing up or puffing up in the front. Normally, every time I do it, it looks really good, but whatever. Um, I just got done cleaning my apartment. I just uploaded a clean with me video, so you can go check that out. Literally did all the exact same things. Um, just kind of tidied up a little bit. So now I'm gonna actually move my dresser into my closet. And as of right now, I'm gonna move this cubicle out here, um, like how it was in my like other apartments or whatever. So this is what we're working with right now. This dresser is from Ikea. I have a vlog of me getting that and putting that together. And then I'm gonna move the dresser in here. So this cube is gonna come out and the dresser is gonna be over here. Um, I could definitely fit both of them in here but i don't want my closet too crowded so i'm just going to bring this out simply because i don't have my tv mounted so i need something for my tv to sit on and this isn't the tv that i'm going to be keeping like i'm going to give this to my mom um because i want a 65 inch so just in the meantime until i can get my tv mounted and stuff like that i'm going to be rearranging things and then the tv is going to be sitting on that out here so the first thing i'm going to do is take all these drawers out so it can be easier to move and then once all the drawers are out then we're going to start scooting this into the closet Got tired of your shit, you on my 
returning subscriber and you've seen me move numerous of times then you know that I sometimes use the like throw blanket method that I call it I'll put a blanket under like a heavy piece of furniture so it doesn't scratch up the floor and then I'll just kind of pick up my end and then slide it across on that blanket so my floors doesn't get scratched up okay so this is how the bed looks um i'm going to get a black throw blanket i'm just still using this one because i cannot find a black throw blanket to save my life like one that i really like i don't want one that's like this i kind of want one that's um like knitted so it's really hard to find one of those but this is the finished product everything is on the bed um the comforter from target i've been sleeping on this for about two weeks since y'all seen the other clip i really like it it's really soft the bed i love i don't have anything on this side yet and i also don't have <laughs> anything on this one 
So I have so much storage space. And this one, I have a few bags down there. And that's it. And then this is kind of like where I throw all my pillows at. But yeah, I'm in love with the bed so far. And then over here, this is my little setup. Like I told you, I'm gonna get a 65 inch TV mounted and then there'll be nothing up there up top so I can put all of this comfortably on there. And then in my closet, I don't feel like getting my ring light, so sorry about the lighting, but this is the dresser. And then I just have my little jewelry holder right here. I put a candle right here in the middle and then some more Bath and Body Works stuff on either side right here. And I still have a lot of room to walk, so I love it. <laughs> so yeah, in the next vlog, I'm gonna be putting together some more furniture pieces, so stay tuned for that. And as always, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovelies then. Bye guys.